The history of the Corps is deeply embedded in the fabric of our Army and our country in many locations throughout the world. Since our founding in 1775, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has played an important role in the Army and the nation, meeting the changing and growing needs of our military forces, contributing to the prosperity and security of the United States, and serving in virtually every corner of the world in peace and in war. I look forward to joining the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Civil Works, Ms. Jo Ellen Darcy, and the other national leaders as the larger core team take on the many challenges that lie ahead. Today is like no other time in our history. Our top priority remains to enable the Army and the nation to win the current fight. The core team remains committed to completing our mission in Afghanistan, where the core currently has over 11,000 sappers and combat engineers and nearly 800 Department of the Army Corps civilian employees serving side by side with our soldiers. The Army and the nation are also operating in a more complex, less certain, and fiscally constrained environment. Now more than ever, the nation needs a lean, agile, strong, capable, competent, and trusted Corps of Engineers, one that serves the Army and the nation, and one that truly teams with our many military, federal, state, local government, host nation government, tribal, academia, industry, non-governmental partners to solve the engineering and scientific challenges of the joint force, the nation, and the global community. I'm committed to working with all of our partners and to continue the rich traditions of the Corps to meet the needs of this great country and always, always deliver. Renee, my son Joshua, and I, and the entire Corps team are greatly honored by your presence today. As General Austin said, we often finish our remarks uh, with the French word, essay owns, let us try. Those words symbolize the great legacy of the Army Corps of Engineers, reflected in the construction of roads and bridges, canals and locks, dams and hi hydropower facilities, flood control projects, military infrastructure, coastal fortifications, as well as the Pentagon, the Washington Monument, the Panama Canal, the Mississippi River and tributary systems, NASA facilities, and the national parks. This great legacy is a testament to the hard work of many soldiers and civilians who have proudly served in the Corps of Engineers. So I say essay ongs, building strong and army strong. God bless the United States of America.